In this presentation, we will introduce our paper entitled Improving Parallel Imaging by Jointly Reconstructing Multi-Contrast Data. I would like to especially acknowledge the tremendous amount of work done by my co-first author, Tae Kim, from USC. In MRI, it is routine to acquire multiple images with different contrasts, echoes, immersion times, or phase cycles. These are helpful in relaxation parameter mapping, motor fat imaging, or reducing B0-related artifacts. For instance, images in a balanced SSFP acquisition suffer from bending artifacts due to B0 inhomogeneity. But acquiring a second image with a different phase cycling scheme shifts the location of these bands, and we can combine the two images to mitigate these artifacts. The motivation in this work is to utilize the similarities between such multi-contrast images to further accelerate such acquisitions. Similar to the correlations between multi-coil images that is leveraged in its sensitivity encoding, we are proposing to apply parallel imaging across multi-contrast data. We propose the joint grappa technique in last year's ISMRM to jointly reconstruct multi-contrast images. In this paper, we have expanded this to joint virtual coil grappa to exploit additional phase information using the virtual coil concept. We are also proposing joint LORAX, which enables joint reconstruction across multiple contrasts by exploiting support and phase constraints as well as sensitivity encoding. JLORAX also encapsulates PLORAX, which allows calibrationless imaging, AC LORAX for fast calibrated reconstruction, as well as SMS LORAX for simultaneous multi slice imaging. In particular, we had proposed the joint slice grappa technique last year for multiband or SMS imaging. In this work, we have expanded it to JVC slice grappa as well as joint SMS LORAX. Just to give a brief overview of LORAX, we can begin by noting that it exploits linear dependencies in case space, just like conventional parallel imaging. In addition, LORAX can exploit limited image support as well as slowly varying phase priors. To see how the support constraint is enforced, we can multiply the image with a mask function f of x to obtain an image of zeros. In case space, this means that we can convolve the data with an appropriate kernel and obtain a case space full of zeros. By sliding this kernel across case space, we can capture the same relation by building a large convolution matrix, which ends up being low rank. Then enforcing this low rank property during the reconstruction allows us to make up for the missing case space data due to undersampled acquisition. In addition to joint reconstruction algorithms, we are also proposing to use complementary case space sampling patterns across the contrasts. For instance, at twofold acceleration, we can shift the sampling pattern by one case space sample in the second contrast to provide complementary frequency coverage in joint grappa. In JVC grappa, we also perform case space interpolation using additional virtual coils, which requires a yet larger kernel that spans the contrasts as well as the virtual channels. Looking at some examples, let's begin with a 2D balanced SSFP acquisition using four different phase cycles. Conventional techniques such as SENSE, GRAPA or VC GRAPA reconstruct each phase cycle independently and use the same sampling pattern. In JVC GRAPA and JLORAX, we will instead use staggered sampling and shift the acquisition pattern in each contrast. At 6 volt undersampling in the left-right direction, conventional SENSE and GRAPA reconstructions break down due to high acceleration. Virtual coil grappa is able to provide a much improved solution with some aliasing artifacts. JVC grappa and JLORAX further mitigate these artifacts and improve the RMSC performance. When we push the acceleration further to R equal to 7, even JVC grappa begins to incur large RMSC values. But we can achieve the same net acceleration factor by combining partial free assembling and 6 volt uniform undersampling. Since virtual coil is no longer applicable due to asymmetric sampling in partial Fourier acquisition, we had to combine joint grappa with POX reconstruction instead. This provided some RMSE improvement, but we can see that the unacquired part of case space was underestimated, as pointed by the white arrow. Since Jade Lorax is flexible enough to handle partial Fourier sampling pattern, it provided the best reconstruction and avoided this underestimation issue. Next, let's look at a 3D multi echo MPRH acquisition with four echoes where we can accelerate in both of the phase encoding axes. For our joint reconstruction strategies, we are also making use of staggered controlled aliasing patterns. At 12 volt acceleration, conventional techniques of SENSE, GRAPA, and virtual coil GRAPA yielded about 10% RMSE 
with noise amplification and some aliasing artifacts. JVC Grappa largely improved the error metric by mitigating noise amplification, but suffered from some structured aliasing artifact, which was mitigated in the J-Lorax reconstruction. Pushing the acceleration to 16-fold caused Grappa to break down, and even JVC Grappa suffered from unresolved folding artifacts. Combining 12-fold undersampling with two-dimensional partial Fourier allowed us to reach the same net acceleration factor of 16-fold. While joint Grappa with Pox reconstruction was relatively successful despite such high acceleration, there was still some underestimation in the partial Fourier portion of K-space. J-Lorax was able to mitigate this issue and provided low RMSC with high image quality. We will next consider SMS encoding for multi-echo turbo spin echo acquisition. In this case, we will excite 10 slices simultaneously and investigate joint reconstruction across six different echoes. In this figure, we are displaying five out of 10 slices that were excited simultaneously. Slice scrapper worked well, but suffered from some aliasing artifacts as pointed by the arrows. JVC slice scrapper was able to suppress some of these and improve the RMSC. Joint SMS Lorax further mitigate these artifacts and reduce the error. Next, we are going to add 6 eighths partial Fourier to bring the total acceleration to about 13 fold. In this case, we had to perform a separate POX reconstruction after slice grapha to make up for the unacquired portion of K-space due to partial Fourier. In joint SMS Lorax, this was not necessary as it flexibly combined partial Fourier sampling with SMS encoding and provided the best reconstruction quality. Finally, we will consider a 3D multi-echo GRE reconstruction with 5 echoes but we will not use any calibration region in our sampling pattern. At fourfold acceleration, calibrationless Lorax already provided decent reconstruction, but the Tito star map derived from the individual echo images suffered from some bias. With joint calibrationless Lorax, we were able to improve the reconstruction quality and mitigate the bias in the Tito star fit. To summarize, we show that it is possible to achieve higher acceleration factors by jointly reconstructing multi-contrast data. In particular, JVC Grappa made use of virtual coils to improve the joint reconstruction performance, and J Lorax improved on this by flexible use of partial Fourier and limited support constraints. Please feel free to try out our software, which can be downloaded from these two links. Thank you very much for your attention.